A hundred percent of people are heavily impacted by what we just discussed. They misinterpreted the data so drastically and scared everybody with so much fear that you actually have an entire generation that has forgotten how to prescribe hormone therapy. When you took estrogen and progestin or estrogen alone, you had a decreased risk of colon cancer. You had decreased risk of fractures, like significant decrease of fractures. Decrease of diabetes. We saw a decrease in overall mortality, a decrease in cancer-specific mortality. The reality is this is half the population. This is not niche medicine. If a penis shriveled up at age 52, we'd probably have a vaccine sponsored by Pfizer, right? This is. This is, they created Viagra, they would create this, this vaccine. No one even tells women. I, I love women, that analogy. There are two hormones we've talked a lot about, but there's a third that we haven't yet talked about. Doesn't get enough attention in women. And of course that's testosterone. I, I don't know who said, who decided that men get testosterone and women have estrogen. Like we have both of the hormones. We love to gaslight women and say, well, if you have your period, your hormones are normal. And the reality is, is that's not true. I know there are people in the Medicare system mm -hmm. who are gonna be interested to understand that. If everybody in Medicare eligibility used vaginal estrogen, we would save Medicare between six and $22 billion a year. They're going to their doctor for cultures. They're in the ICU with sepsis. Um, this is a huge economic and mortality problem that we are dealing with and no one cares. We just got done saying that that study didn't show that. So why is that box labeling still there? We're killing women by trying to protect them.